Now for today's word, you guys, the Lord is saying the enemy has been defeated. What are you doing with the authority that he has given you? What are you doing with the authority that the Lord has gifted you? You see, as children of God, God have given us authority over the enemy. And we should not sit there and allow him to bully us. You see, this life we're living, we're in a constant battle. Not just a battle against our own flesh, but a battle against the enemy and his scheme. And the Lord has given us life, life abundantly. What does that mean? Does that mean we're super rich and we have everything we need? No, that just simply means regardless of what your life look like, regardless of what country you're born in, regardless of what circumstance you find yourself in, regardless of what season you find yourself in, God has given you peace. God has given you understanding to see that none of this None of it matter, but what truly matter is your relationship with him. Because in every season, he feed our soul, he feel our spirit, and help sustain us to be able to face whatever trials, whatever persecution, whatever circumstance. He built us up to be able to face those things and not let it overcome us. Because you know what? He has overcome these things. While I was meditating on this word, the Lord gave me a picture of his resurrection. But not just that. He gave me one specific picture. The one was when he got pulled down from the cross and was placed in that tomb. And in three days, rose again from the dead. And death was defeated and victory was ours. And today we have that victory in Christ Jesus. And I wanted to read this scripture in the book of Psalm, okay? Psalms 27, it says, the Lord is my light and my salvation. So why should I be afraid? The Lord protect me from dangers. So why should I tremble when evil people come to destroy me when my enemies and fuels attack me they will stumble and fall though a mighty army surrounds me my heart will know no fear even if they attack me i remain confident the one thing i ask of the lord the thing i seek most is to live in the house of the lord all the days of my life delighting in the Lord perfection and meditating in his temple for he will counsel me there when trouble come he will hide me in his sanctuary he will place me out of reach on a high rock then I will hold my head high above my enemies who surrounds me at his tabernacle. I will offer sacrifice with shouts of joy, singing and praising the Lord with music. So my brothers and my sisters, our salvation is in the Lord that created the heaven and the earth. He is our strength. He is our redeemer. He is our redeemer. He is our healer. He is our protector. He is our shield. He is our defense against the enemy scheme. So my brother or my sister, do not allow anxiety to hold you down. Do not allow depression to hold you down. Do not allow confusion to hold you down. Do not allow the circumstance that you're in to pull you down. Strengthen yourself in the Lord your God today. Because you know what? The truth is, victory is yours. When Jesus rose out of that grave, it's not just for your salvation. It's so you can also have life and life abundantly. And you are free from all of those things. So walk in your freedom today by surrendering your life to Christ completely. 
and yielding to the Lord. Oh man, thank you, Jesus. The Lord said, it is finished. I want you to believe that truth today. It is finished. He did it for you. He did it for me. There's no circumstance that's too hard for the Lord to deliver you from. There's no circumstance that is too complicated for God. Just trust in him today and lean into him. And may you do it in the house of the Lord forever. Lord, I just thank you for my brothers and my sister across the screen, God. I pray today that you help them believe this truth, this reality today. That you came down, God in flesh, you came down, died on the cross for our sin. In three days rose again so that we can have salvation through you and so that we can have life and life abundantly. Help them, Lord. Help us, Lord, to walk in that abundant life that you have for us. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. God bless you. God love you. Bye, friend.